So I'm sitting in my rental car just waiting to pick up my brother from the movie theater and I figured it was a good time to create day number five. There has been so much healing that has come from this time that I've had with my father. I've never had so much one-on-one -on -one time with him and I've never felt comfortable enough to really have some some deep philosophical conversations, not to the degree that I've experienced on this trip. My, my father is a very, very deep thinker, a very, very spiritual person, and he has wisdom that he has often shared with, um, with people that he has, has shared his path with. Um, but as a kid, I, you know, I was a kid. I didn't, I didn't really, um, really participate much in those, in those times when he was sharing that wisdom with the folks that he surrounded himself with. And, and as I got older, because of my parents splitting up, I didn't get as much time with him. And then we ultimately lived in different cities. So this has been an awesome, incredible experience to talk about my own evolution since my illness as a soul, my understanding of unity consciousness, uh, my understanding of the human experience and what I've learned over the last four decades of my life, four and a half decades of my life, um, to talk about me, myself, and I as it pertains to body, mind, and spirit, I being E-Y-E, the third I, and our spiritual connection to divinity. And having my dad say, that's cool, that's cool, baby girl, um, to see some of the, to see him rejoice in some of the understandings that I've come to, and how some of those are actually in alignment with the things that he was teaching to the folks that, um, that he surrounded himself with uh, in my childhood. My father is an incredibly brilliant man, but in that brilliance he has been known to um, to press people to help them expand in their consciousness and in their awareness and um, encourage them to grow. But as we all know, if someone's not ready or willing, they will resist. They will resist. And so um, it's just really neat to be in this very open heart space with him um, and to just again be completely authentic and transparent and and really kind of get a feel for what my life would have been like had my parents not split up when I was little to see his interactions with my younger siblings and to be able to just laugh and be joyful with them um, just so much healing for my little baby soul and I'm just so incredibly grateful so grateful that I made this a priority so grateful that I'm spending this time with him uh, it's something that uh, that I know I will cherish for the rest of my days. It's good stuff. So, anyways, I just wanted to share with y'all and let you know that uh, that I'm thinking of you and that I'm keeping my commitment. Day five, and uh, I'm loving you, loving me, always, in always. Make it a great night.